Hi friends, it's Tracy from the Financial Freedom Diary and today we are back to do my cash envelope stuffing for the month of January. If you're new to my channel, please subscribe below. Hope y'all are doing super fantastic. Um, if this is your first time seeing me do a cash envelope stuffing, I only stuff my cash envelopes once a month. Um, it's just something that has worked out for me and I typically do it out of my very first paycheck of the month. Uh, originally when I started using cash envelopes I did it as a way to stop me from like just free spending out of my checking account because there's something about like debit cards and stuff like swiping cards that I don't know I tend to be <sighs> um, detached from what I'm actually doing and cash I tend to try to hang on to it so I should have nine hundred and five dollars so one hundred two hundred three four five hundred five fifty six hundred six fifty seven hundred seven twenty forty sixty eighty eight hundred eight twenty 40, 60, 80, so it's 880, 890, 900, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I did not ask for those ones. I asked for one $5 bill. But I got one, so we'll make it do what it do. Um, the first thing that I am going to stuff is going to be my restaurant money. And this is what I'll use for like my team building events or anything like that that may take place in January and so this wallet if I haven't said so this is a savvy sense wallet I've had about two of these well I, I still have two of these one I purchased and this one right here my son purchased for me it's a Mother's Day gift so um they last a while and she Madam Pinky she needs to go to the washing machine she needs to be washed so I'm gonna get myself two 20s for my restaurant money but yeah I just pull these little things out and throw her in a laundry bag and wash her. All right, and so for restaurants, I'll have 20, 40, 65 total for the month of January. So I'm gonna try to stay out of restaurants this month unless we got some kind of team building event and I have to participate in those. Um, for laundry, I need to take out $55 for that. So 20, 40. A ten and five ones. Twenty, forty, fifty, one, two, three, four, five. And you guys know I got I had excess and change, so I stuck that five in here. Um, I think it came from Dollar General. And so I'll have sixty dollars in laundry money for the month of January. Now the next one is going to be household and I'm giving myself $60 for a household. So that's 150 and a 10. Let me put these with my little coupons. God knows I always forget to use my coupons. But we're gonna be on it because I do need to pick up some things. And for my personal, I'm getting a hundred and fifty dollars, so I'm gonna take three fifties. One, two, three. And I know I need to buy some things on Amazon, so what I'll do is go back to the bank and deposit that back in. So whenever I make electronic purchases, I have to put that money back into my account. I can't spend from both buckets, um, and that kind of helps me not to find loopholes and ways to spend money. <laughs> because if one exists I will find it and I will exploit it uh, groceries I should have $60 for groceries and so what I'm doing is giving myself $120 um, per week so that's 100 2, 3, 4, 5 20, 40, 60, 86 and so what I'll do is split this this way Weird little color scheme to this one. Just noticed that. And so I'm going to put a paper clip on this. 
And that is really more so that when I'm in the store and I go to spend, I know that this is the stopping point because I'll feel that when I'm just touching around in my envelope and lollygagging around, not really paying attention. <laughs> because it happens and i am done and set for the month so woo! thank y'all so much for watching you guys have a super fantastic day and i will talk to you guys later bye